Another short video today, we're going to be talking about the differences and the similarities between our 1.2 standard membrane and the 1.5 premium. So we get asked this on a daily basis, what thickness does my EPDM membrane need to be? Hopefully this video will answer these questions. So first of all, both membranes are perfect for your residential and your commercial flat roofing. Um, standard roofs like your garden rooms, extensions, dormer roofs, things like that. So they're both installed in exactly the same way, the 1.2 and the 1.5. Um, your water-based adhesive uh, on your main deck is standard and your contact adhesive around your perimeter. So if nothing's going to be installed on the EPDM after it's been installed, then we would normally just recommend the 1.2 membrane. This works out a little bit more cost-effective for uh, our customers. We will, however, recommend the 1.5 membrane if a particular product is going to be going on top of it after it's been installed. So this could be decking, uh, ballast, screed in before you put tiles on or green roofs. Some of the contractors that buy from us do use the 1.5 mil on all of their work. They do feel that it does lay a little bit better with that uh, added thickness. It also covers up lumps and bumps a little bit better as well. Having said that, lumps and bumps shouldn't really be an issue as both of the membranes are designed to be laid onto new decking boards. Just to touch on the weight of the membranes as well, the 1.2 weighs just over 1.5 kilo per square metre and the 1.5 weighs just over 2. So a typical 20 square metre roof will weigh 30 kilo if you're using the 1.2 membrane and 40 kilo if you're using the 1.5. So just bear that in mind when you have got larger roofs to do, you might want to split them down because of the weight. So just to finish, they're both BBA certified and they're both fire rated. The 1.2 has an AB fire rating and the 1.5 is an AA.